doing? I'm starting a video. That's what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Welcome back <laughs> to another Reese Witherspoon movie, a movie reaction series, Reese Witherspoon month. I don't really know what I'm saying. Um, today we are watching Wild, um, which I've actually wanted to see since before it came out. So I knew of the book. I finally read the book a couple years ago. Um, I did really like it. I actually lived in Ashland, Oregon when they were filming this and so they like closed off downtown for I think like two days um, and like filmed part of this movie there. And like I remember you couldn't have a vehicle parked down there unless it was like a 95 or earlier model. Um, there are like all of these signs up for like a week and I think they went to a restaurant that I can't remember the name of but I knew I had been there and I really liked their breakfast. Um, it was like a breakfast brunch place and it was really good, but I can't remember the name of the restaurant. So anyways, maybe it will be in the movie, but I can't remember if they, they must have filmed there. I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been like what, seven years or so, I think, since they were there filming, um, maybe closer to eight. So I don't quite remember everything, but I just remember that I lived there when they filmed there. Um, so this movie um is about a lady oh goodness this does not the way that I try to like start telling you what it's about doesn't always work with the first word of the sentence so let me just start over the synopsis of the movie driven to the end by the loss of her beloved mother the dissolution of her marriage and a headlong dive into self-destructive behavior Cheryl Strayed is it Strayed 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 I'm actually not sure how to pronounce her last name um, makes a decision to halt her downward spiral and put her life back together again. With no outdoors experience, a heavy backpack, way, way, way heavy backpack, let me tell you, um, and little else to go on but her own will, Cheryl sets out alone to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, one of the country's longest and toughest through trails. I still want to hike it. Actually, I still want to hike the PCT. I don't, I, ha I don't know if I necessarily want to do it all in one stretch for like the five months that it takes, um, especially because a lot of time you end up with too much snow in the Sierras or even too much snow like up in Canada, like Washington area when you start because you end up having to skip stuff and then go back and I don't know, I feel like if I did it all in one stretch, I'd want to do it all in one stretch, but I don't want to hike through three feet of snow or more. So I don't know, I thought about doing it like in segments, like hiking a state. For like a couple of years i don't know i still want to hike the pct though i think it'd be really cool i've been on sections of it but i've definitely never i i was like doing trail work i definitely never like hiked parts of it um that's not true i did hike a couple miles on it when i lived down in ashland area but otherwise i was only on it when i was doing like trail work like around cradle lake especially um we did trail work on the pct um but yeah anyways so that's what the movie's about, and that's what we're going to watch, and I'm really excited. And it is a book. It's based off of a book, based off of a true, like, story from a book um, that she wrote. So, yeah, as normal, there may be times where you just see my reactions to films, not the scenes themselves. I don't want to give away big scenes or the ending of the film. And let's get started with Wild. I was wondering if they were going to be doing clips from her hiking and clips from her past. And it looks like they are. I'm going to do the whole back and forth thing, see how it goes this time. Uh-oh. Ouch, that's a good bruise. Yes. Uh, oh! God. I forgot about that, too. <laughs> okay. Nope, don't need to see this. Don't need to see this. What the heck? Um, I'm hiking the PCT. <laughs> <laughs> they can be heavy. Her chest strap is too low. Her hip strap is too loose and low. She doesn't have that thing on right. She's way too heavy to just throw around, but she's got way too much stuff though too. Like, you can't, I mean you can hike that far carrying that much, but it's just ridiculous. Too much going to take you forever and it's going to suck way more than it already would. 
This is why you carry a lighter backpack, so you make it more than five miles on your first day. Maybe prep a little bit. Okay, so I know I've had comments of like, her backpack's not on right, it's way too heavy, she's carrying too much stuff. I'm like not a professional at all. Like I've just done trail work and like hiked into the backcountry to do trail work. So I like have a little bit of experience. Um, and like she hadn't taken most of her stuff out of packages. She never set up her tent before, but she did it. Like she had like so much struggle I mean like you heard like she lost her mother and um she ended up getting a divorce and had self-destructive behaviors after that like she really had like struggled in her life and she went out and did this like she really tried to like throw her life off track like completely change for the better um and this is how she did it and even though she was so not prepared and her backpack was probably as heavy as she was she had no idea how to set up her tent she had only hiked five miles on the first day like she still did it she went out and did it and she kept going like she did um can i give it away because i know how far that she hiked i've actually been to the bridge that she like crossed over and that's where she stopped at um i've driven over it's a really weird bridge to drive over though it's like it, yeah it makes too much noise and shakes the car and I don't like it which is like way off track but um I mean she like she did it and I think that's what really should be taken away from this movie is she didn't stop herself she had a friend who told her that you can quit at any time and she has that voice in her head and she didn't let that stop her um she didn't let literally having to get on her hands and knees with her backpack to stand up like she can't even lift it with her arms like she didn't let that stop her she didn't let anything stop her she kept going until she was ready to be done and I think that's what really needs to be taken away from this movie and I think that's fantastic and my comments on like her backpack size and not being on correctly and she does like she should have prepped a little bit like I mean yes that's true but that's not like the important thing of this movie and I need to remember that too Okay, everyone's trying their own opinion. I don't agree with you though. never ever running into one of those which is really unlikely because i live in the middle of a desert but still <laughs> I just want to go jump in the river. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I can't handle my lap right now. And that's probably because women can't walk out of their lives. They've got kids to take care of. You're cute. I am. I love Fox. That's so cool. Hmm. 
remember this part. These little flashbacks, like losing her mom and her downward spiral, actually work like really well with the way that they're like showing her hike and kind of what she's thinking of and like the evolution of her past and the hike and where she's going. Like it just it all it all works really well. Yikes! Yeah, I would not have crossed there. Oh, jeez. That's gotta be freezing cold. Actually, I probably would have crossed there, because I would have been like, meh, I can do it. And then I would have done that. I'm not sure if I would want to hike it by myself, actually. I don't know. That better be a real good water filter. Because that's gross. But hey, something's better than nothing. It's still murky. Interesting. Creeper came back. That's not a compliment. That's creepy. And, and just no. Just no. I cannot read what that says. Excellent! It's weird watching a movie knowing exactly where she is. <laughs> That's worse. You like punch? Nope. I made a good one. Bye. Uh, oh. <laughs> Got out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never hugged a llama by the way you need to hug a llama because their necks are like this big but all the poof is like this big and it's amazing She had some experiences. I feel ya. The end of that movie, like the last five minutes, it's like what I needed in my life. Wow. Um, I don't know, questions, comments, concerns, it, I, um, I don't know, I'm kind of jolted by, like, the last five minutes, and, like, it's a lot of what she said is kind of what I needed to hear, and that's just all I'm thinking of right now.
Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I knew the story because I read the book a couple months ago. Not a couple months ago, a couple years ago. Uh, but they did a really good job. A really good job of it. Um, and I like how they, you know, the story of a past. <laughs> Can you hear the happy baby? Um, the story of her past and her forgiving herself it went well with her on the trail. Like, they didn't really jump back and forth all that much. It was more of, like, really quick flashbacks um, or even just a couple minutes of flashbacks. And so it wasn't, like, two different timelines. They almost, they were two different timelines but going through the same thing or going through it and then moving past it. And it was, it was done really well. Um, and I love her story so much, and <laughs> what she, yeah, I mean, a lot of people hike the PCT, but, um, I guess I don't know how many people go out there, like, for a reason, or to heal, or just, they want to, like, something to do, like, a big accomplishment, and I just, I don't know, I really get that she went out there to, like, heal and find herself, like, I just, I get that, <laughs> like, that, that makes sense to me, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know that I really have much to say, um, but it, it, I, I love her story. It's worth, the book is worth the read. Um, the movie was actually really well done also. Um, both of them are definitely worth the time, uh, and I hope that you take something from it if you read the book or you watch the movie. So yeah, that was wild. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week for our last Reese Witherspoon movie, so have a wonderful week, everyone.